Lord's Day devotion for the week beginning today, Sunday, January 21st, 2024. I'm your brother Clinton. I post these videos on the first day of the week to inspire people to begin their week well and put in their due diligence each and every single day. If you are following this video, chances are you are at least curious about Jesus, if not saved. This video is a very special one because it it's covering the vision that God has in the power and authority of Jesus Christ for the church worldwide and his vision that he's given me for this ministry. You'll want to also stay tuned because later on in the video, I've got a very special tip for you personally to bless you somewhere in this video. So stay tuned. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God Almighty, Jehovah, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah, Yahweh of armies, Yahweh of hosts, we praise you for your eternal perfection and being the creator, the only true God without rival in heaven or anywhere in your creation, without competition, God of gods, so-called gods. I thank you, Heavenly Father God, that through your Son, Christ Jesus, you've established the truth in the earth, the way, the truth, and the life. I praise you, Father God, that you've given a vision for the church worldwide, a vision for our local congregation, and a vision for us personally, Father God. For those of us, Heavenly Father God, who have not realized our own personal vision, I pray in the name of Jesus that each and every listener and viewer of this video will express faith and pray to you and you will grant them a clear vision for their own personal lives. I pray all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now the specific scriptures that I'm going to cover today are in the description if you want to pick up on that, but I will also cover it in the video. We're going to be going to Proverbs and we're also going to be going to the book of Matthew. First of all, I want to encourage you because the church is growing worldwide and God is preparing a church that will be better prepared for the hardships to come, better prepared than ever before, regardless of how wild and crazy the world gets. And we know in recent years it's been pretty nutty. <laughs> okay, His people, by contrast, are becoming more holy, more righteous by faith, performing more good works, more ministry, and in their own personal lives, they are prospering as their own souls prosper, just as Jesus promised. Now let's go to Proverbs chapter 28. Now let's, let's look at how important a vision is to God's heart for the church and our own personal lives. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1. From the English Standard Version, as usual, and less stated otherwise. Chapter 28, verse 1. Notice the contrast here, because God often uses comparison and contrast. The wicked flee when no one pursues. But the righteous are bold as a lion. Amen. I'll repeat that. The wicked flee when no one pursues. But the righteous are bold as a lion. Now we're talking about righteous by faith. We don't have our own righteousness. God attributes righteousness to us by faith. That's another teaching for another time to expound on that. It begins, righteousness begins with faith. Let's put it that way. You are in right standing. Righteousness means right standing with God by faith. Now notice the, lick, the wicked flee when no one pursues. Look at all the protests in recent years, not only in the United States of America, but France, widespread protests and riots in the United States, France, Germany, and other places. And people are, are fearful. People are in a panic. People are making a fuss, even a riot, over things that are manageable issues, right? Contrast that with God's faithful people who trust in his word, 
the Prince of Peace rules in our hearts. Amen. Now let's go into this vision that God has. Okay? Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. Where there is no prophetic vision, the people cast off restraint. But blessed is he who keeps the law. Notice another technique that God has of comparison and contrast, which is the, the backbone, the spine, if you will, of true science, by the way. Human beings, scientists didn't invent that principle. That's a divine principle. That's a trait of God, comparison and contrast. Okay, Even whether times are good or times are bad, that's still there. Things could, let's say hypothetically, before sin came into humanity through Adam and Eve, God was still using comparison and contrast even before there was sin. If, we're not going to go into that right now, but if you look at the first few chapters of the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible, you see con comparison and contrast already at work in God even before humanity sinned. Now let's go on. Okay, and break this down real quick. Um, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18, where there is no prophetic vision. Now we're talking about God's prophetic vision, not false prophets and false teachers. Okay, where there is no prophetic vision, the people cast off restraint. We see that in the world all over the place. There's no direction in their lives. But, the, but blessed, blessed means wholesomeness and well-being combined with joy. Blessed is he who keeps the law. Now we don't keep, we're, we've already sinned, we've broken the whole law. The Bible says that if you break so much as one little part of the, the law, one thing, you break the whole law, the covenant of the law, the law of God given through Moses. So we've already broken the law. If you've ever lied, if you've ever deceived anybody, if you ever had wrong thoughts in your heart, you have already sinned. Okay, now grace comes and mercy comes through Christ Jesus. Our sins are covered. Now is the vision. Once we are saved, then the vision of God can come into our hearts because our hearts have been prepared. Does that make sense? God breaks it down in very simple terms. He comes down to where we are. He speaks in a language that we speak at a level that we understand. And things that we do not understand, we must trust God, expressing faith that in the time's future, he will reveal all things to us. That's part of the vision. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me, by me. but by me indicating that Jesus is the only way. Let's move on, okay? Matthew chapter 28, another minute or two, and we're going to wrap this up, okay? Matthew chapter 28, I encourage you to read the entire thing, but I'm going to cover the last few verses of Matthew chapter 28, Okay? Verse 16, now the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. That's the vision for the church worldwide, to make, make disciples of Jesus, not disciples of Clinton. I'm not here to make a disciple of you toward me, but to Jesus, okay? Teaching you and speaking prophetic vision to you, explaining things to you, encouraging you, okay? To build you up in your discipleship with Jesus, all right? 
False prophets and false teachers will try to collect students, pupils, disciples of themselves. We point to Jesus. Now, the vision that God has given me, you know the vision for the church worldwide. It's to make disciples of Jesus, to spread the preaching and teaching of the gospel and the preaching and teaching of the word worldwide. For this particular channel, the vision that God has given me is to make disciples of Jesus in general for the metropolitan area around the Twin Cities, many, you know, Minnesota. And I am in St. Paul. This is my apartment. I went from one apartment to a, a little bit somewhat bigger apartment and much better apartment for God's purposes to, to disciple people here, host them right in my apartment. That's the purpose of this. That's the vision of this apartment. Now, the vision for this channel is to continue that, expand that onto YouTube. The gospel will be strong here. And the preaching and teaching and prophetic word of God will be strong here. One of my goals is to reach 50 subscribers so that I can publish on my YouTube channel live. God willing, this will happen, and right here from this apartment, we will have group discipleship and publish it live on YouTube. 2024, there's going to be a big expansion of my ministry, both in YouTube and in my life, privately. Be a part of this. Like, subscribe, share. The Google YouTube algorithm watches, and when they see participation, it gets the message out to more people. I want to encourage you also to go to rivervalleychurch.org and view sermons live from their website, or you can even view it on YouTube. River Valley Church, my church, and the church of many of my friends who watch this channel and subscribe to it are blessed by Pastor Rob, lead Pastor Rob Kettling, and the, the vision that he has been given for River Valley Church, which plugs in perfectly with the church of Jesus Christ worldwide. That's all for now. Exciting times coming, as we say at River Valley Church, the best is yet to come. Also, I want to shout out to Megan, who is a new subscriber and someone I meet recently, met recently at River Valley Church, and I'm so excited that, that you've joined my channel, Megan, and my other brothers and sisters in Christ who recently subscribed. Thank you very much for your support. You are participating in this ministry by doing so. Lastly, I got a, I got a special thing for you. I told you I'd give you a tip, and in these videos, God willing, I will remember to give a, a special tip as an extra blessing to you. Look on YouTube or, or probably on other social media for this praise and worship song, I Speak Jesus by Charity Gale. I Speak Jesus by Charity Gale. Go there right away, right after this video, and be blessed. Be blessed, rejoice, put in your due diligence each and every day throughout the week. Victory in Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Amen.